Hi, my name is Larry Pierce. I'm an artist living and working in Dorchester, Massachusetts. And I'm in my attic studio on the Old Fields Road. And I would like to give you a little tour. This piece that you see behind me is a, an island off the coast of, of Senegal in West Africa, it's called Gore. It's a fascinating image that I've painted uh, in all different sizes and configurations more than 10 times. This is the last and final version. It's oil on canvas. Um, if you get a sense looking around, basically what I am is I'm an eclectic artist. As a matter of fact, I call myself an eclecticist. And the reason why is because my interest, I'm very, very um, restless when it comes to creative activities. I like to move from one interest to another, to another, to another, then back to the first. And I'm having the time of my life. I used to think that it was, I had to have a body of work, a recognizable body of work to be regarded as a serious artist. And I can say, in all honesty, I am serious. I'm seriously having fun. And that's the name of the game. And if you're not having fun, you're in the wrong business. Here's a piece that I'm working on. You can see it. It's called The Running of the Humans. This is that ridiculous ritual in Spain where they get to uh, just barely be, be missed being gored by uh, angry bulls and uh, I, I don't know, that and bullfighting are two sports that I um, would be very happy to see the back of. Um, but the visual is very interesting and it's fun to look at. So that's one of the pieces I'm working on. Another piece is a series of paintings that I'm doing called The Women. And this is a Native American woman, and these are spiritual symbols behind her. And if I can show you another piece similar to that, but not necessarily in a series. Here's a, an African woman in the same format. Okay. I do a... Uh, I do a series of paintings called Red Squares. Here's the latest one. And again, I've done this in different uh, sizes and configurations. This is the latest version. I'm getting ready to frame it. I have a, a painting called Leaving Joe. And when it's finished, you'll see that that's a, that's a pack of cigarettes down there. This is a woman who's quitting smoking. She's walking away from a pack of cigarettes that she's just thrown down. And uh, we wish her luck. Here is uh, a painting of a friend of mine. Her name is Omo Misha, and she's a curator for Christie's auction in New York that Paul Goodnight and I were invited to bring some artwork to, to uh, participate in the auction. She's a wonderful woman. Misha has all, is also a gallery owner in uh, Michigan. All right, so that's a, brief, that's a brief tour of what I'm doing up here. When I'm quiet and my wife comes up and says, what is he doing down there? Me? Let me go up there and see what's going on, because he's very quiet, which I'm not. I play jazz. I I listen to audio books all the time. This is my little sanctuary. Um, one, oh, one last thing. Here's, a, here's an artist named Souls NYC. And this was a graffiti wall that he painted on near Washington Street in, uh, I believe it's Roxbury. And when I saw this on the wall, 
I stopped the car and I said, this is, this is beautiful. This is, this is what we do. Dorchester, Roxbury, Mattapan. You see the walls, you see absolutely beautiful art going up. There's a brother named Marka 27 who has a, uh, who has a wall on Magazine Street just off Mass Ave. Uh, and of course, Paul Goodnight and I did a, a mural called No Strings Attached that was up uh, for about six months off of uh, Blue Hill Avenue in a program by uh, uh, an outfit called Now and There. And they've, they've, uh, they have uh, commissioned artists, myself, Ekla Holmes, um, and uh, Janetta Tinker, folks like that to uh, put up their own mur uh, version of murals. Janetta's work is up there as we speak. So yeah, this is my short take. Thank you for visiting, and uh, I hope we can get together soon. Thank you.